Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today I'm here with Kathy and Roger. And this is, Roger, if I'm correct, Kathy's car. Yes, this is Kathy's. Kathy, what year make and model? You've got your car girl shirt on. What year make and model is this one? It's a 1954 Buick Skylark convertible. All the Skylarks were convertibles, and there were 836 of them produced. I wore my white shirt for the car color and your black black shirt for the car top. You'll see what I'm talking about. And we're starting with this one well in what I call the best part of this car, which is the back. This back is tremendous. When Buick built that, wow, that was good. Now you have to remember, this is before the 1957 Chevy. This is before the 55. That back looks great. This is also before, obviously, the 59 Cadillac. So take a look at the fins, and I'll give you a little angle on that right there. Now before we go to the side, can we just show the trunk of this one? Now there's some interesting pieces just before you do that. We get this chrome piece here, but notice how these chrome pieces go straight into the bumper. I really thought how they have these almost elephant tusks here, that they really look good. And notice how the light comes through on the tail light. And you were sharing with me, when they had to redo this piece, because this car was restored, it took how many hours? I don't know how many hours, but they were gone for a year and a half. They were gone just for a year and a half on those pieces alone. Wow. All right, let's uh, open her up, shall we? Now, we don't have any trunk and treats today, but I just thought you'd want to see this anyway. Because this car, well, it looks pretty much showroom new. Just wonderful, as you can see. I mean, how they put the, you know, you got to think, at 54, this really is quite the, the trunk, right? It's got this cloth and this kind of cardboard, yet it's got like a vinyl piece to it. It's really done well, and there's a better shot at those chrome pieces and, of course, the reverse lights there. All right, we'll close that so they can see the body design of that one. have obviously the convertible <laughs> it's just great let's take a look over on the side I'll let you meditate on that for a moment wow 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 sun setting it the rims you can see the Spinners on those rims. This great badge for the Skylark as the chrome dips down like a waterfall and then hits that badge. <laughs> that's, that's something in 54. Great windshield. Now I notice a tint on your windshield. Was that an option? That was an option. What options come with? was standard on the Skylark. And I'm gonna take the time to turn it around and show you the front and show you the engine. But while I'm right here, can we go inside it? May I? Thank you. Okay, while we open it up, because the sun's right here on it, so I thought I'd let you take that in. Kathy, tell me, come on up for a second, why this car out of all the cars in the world? I just fell in love with it. Um... We've what what made this, you fall in love with it? I don't know, the waffle interior, I guess, the Let me feature color that. combination, um, just everything. They didn't make them in too many different colors, mm -hmm. but it's just something that I fell in love with. My husband's got good choice in cars. Good choice in cars. Well, this one's certainly... It's quite the right. When you think of all the power in this vehicle at that time, Kathy, when you're driving it, and we'll have you drive it in a moment, but when you're driving it, how do you feel when you're in this thing? I mean, it's pretty, pretty large. It is. It's 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 different to drive. It's in, it just not frightening to drive, but just very cautious, I guess, when I am driving it. But fun to take out. Fun to take out for sure. 
And just all of the way the instrumentation. I'm going to just step out for just a moment to let people just think about that for a second. Wow. Also, I know it's greeted by the Skylark, and you'll notice little larks on the Skylark as you jump into this one. And then you have these airplane instrumentation gauges that have heat, ignition, the stereotronic, you've got the two ashtrays, your clock. Now what is this? This is your, this is your uh, cigarette lighter? I'm guessing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And actually, there's a button on the floor that you can increase the volume on the radio. Wh over here? From a foot feet. Over here? I think it's over there somewhere. Okay. So let me just show that. You've got one here and That's here. Dimmer switch. Dimmer switch and then potentially radio there. And it looks like your vent here. What a great ride. What a great ride. There's your antenna. Your wipers. What is this? Lights? Lights it says? Okay, yeah, got it. Yep. Some of the, uh, you'll, you'll see the word here. I'll show you why I was asking. Because you see the word up here, lights. And then you see the button. You see wipers. And then wipers are way down here. So if I can give you perspective there, it looks like that. And I like this turn signals, brights, and peace in the word Skylark right there. Just grand. Big lever to open up the top. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to turn it around so we can show you the front and show you the uh, engine and what that sounds like. Also, before I leave here too, I notice you got this light here. Maybe a better way to do it is that way. You see the light, the power, and we'll turn this one around. So I told you we'd turn it around and show you the front, and you gotta just enjoy that big, toothy 50s grill on that one. Looks like a bulldog. And that's just amazing. And the presence that has in your rear view mirror is just <laughs> incredible. So as you can see, the Buick script, relatively tight for the size, and then you have these big headlights trim that you have there. This wonderful hood ornament, almost like a bullseye there with that V in it, as you could see as we come around there. So you have your, uh, I don't know, would those be considered Dagmars on those bumpers there? Those are pretty, pretty sizable. Yeah, they're kind of mild compared to Eldorado. Okay, yeah, all right. <laughs> fair, fair enough, fair enough. So we'll, we'll take that. Let's take a look under the hood, shall we? Since we've got the sun right on it. So we've got six volt here? 12 volt. 12 volt, okay. Mm -hmm. For, in 54, that must have been right around the time that it right changed. The first one. The first one, okay. Yeah. Well, then I was correct on that. Notice you've got the, the Fireball V8 there. We have the trim tag right in the light for you. There in the interesting air uh, intake, right with this big snorkel nostril on the front of it sucking in all that and then the way this battery set up that's why I was also wondering if it was a six volt six volt because it just looks a little more unique right a big square rectangle this one is a long rectangle and also you get your fireball eight on this I'll stand back so you can just take it now Roger was this car restored or no uh, yeah it's been restored okay 
because they did such a great job on it. How long was the restoration, do you think, to, on this one to get this to look like this? Uh, it, it, uh, it was restored about 20 years ago. Okay, wow. So the restoration really held, held up nicely. You, yeah, and you could see the on the hood how that piece, these pieces kind of hold that piece in place. Let's uh, fire it up, shall we? Single exhaust there. Roger, uh, let's have you step on the brakes for a second and we'll have you give it a little uh, just single exhaust, correct? Correct. Yeah, okay. And we'll have you give it a little acceleration just so we can see the tail lights when we step on it. Oh, that's great. Inside the little caves. Just like so. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. What's the uh, what's the cubic inch? Three twenty-two. What? Three hundred twenty-two. Three twenty-two. Yeah, it sounds pretty impressive. About two hundred horsepower. We'll have to uh, ask Kathy to give us a ride in this one. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. So I know you don't get this one out as often as you'd like, and I'm going to show some of the rubble. What's the reaction when you're driving this? People pumps up. It's true. I think with almost any of the old cars, you hear people driving down the road and they'll give you a thumbs up or a wave. Or I was just just gonna say fun. we got waves just coming down the street here, and you can see we're just heading out in the country. It's just us. But we have one person go by and they they wave. I'd rather be out in the country with it than driving in traffic. Yeah, of course. You're sure because it's so big, it's a little nervous for you. It is. It just, I mean, I don't drive it that often, so it's just not as comfortable driving it as I am. How do you feel driving it with me? It's fine. I, I, I enjoy <laughs> driving it. I just, like, like I said, to be out, I like to be out on the open road rather yeah. than where I've got a lot of people that yeah. you have to I'm comfortable with it. This is great. We could we cruise all day. It's fun stuff right here. I'll let people just take a little of that in. This will just bring your heart rate down. Enjoy this. And you can just see it floats. Go ahead. 460 air. Is that right? Yep. Nice. 60 miles an hour and four windows open. So we're all, we're all set. 460 air. All right. Got it. I missed that one. That was a good one. You're too young. <laughs> And boy, this is quite the cruiser, isn't it? It, it is a cruiser. So you were sharing with me that uh, when you first got this car, it's got kind of an interesting story to it. What's the story? Well, it came from Pennsylvania, and when we got out to check it out, and they purchased it, the convertible top had never been put up on the car since the gentleman had restored it, and it was the original top. Wow. So Raj and the gentleman worked to get it up, got it, got it up, but it was probably six inches short to begin with from years of being folded up. They did get it attached, and we duct taped the... <laughs> They duct tape the top on top, it? The top to the windows because... I gotta show people where we're going. Go ahead. The, the windows were did not quite you know, meet the top, and the top along the edges was deteriorated. So we duct taped it um, and headed back home. Ended up in a terrible rainstorm, and actually the duct tape worked. There was the inside. There was not a drop, not a drop of, water of moisture on the inside of the car after we got home. You so got your Buick Buick earrings on and everything. I got my Buick what makes earrings. you such a car girl? I guess I well, I can't say I was born into it. I married into it. Raj <laughs> has always been into cars, and 
You love the culture. I, I like the culture. I like the people we meet. So it's been a fun time, and I've just decided to join him rather than staying home. What a great we doing things. What a great ambassador you are. Thanks, Kathy, for taking us for a ride in your car. I just absolutely loved it. Thank well, you. You're welcome.